St. David the Dendrite was born in Thessaloniki in the year 450 AD. From a young age, David possessed a fervent love for God, not giving rest to his body in any way and seeking to run away from all worldly pleasures and praise. Because of this great love for God, David decided to enter the monastic life, and so he was tonsured at the monastery of the holy martyrs Theodore and Mercurius, which was also known as the Kununliatan Monastery. And David would read day and night from the Holy Scriptures and from the lives of the saints, and he would be greatly humbled by all the holy lives of those before him. However, David was moved the most by the lives of Saints Simeon and Daniel the Stylites, who on account of their love for God decided to live on top of large pillars so that they could separate themselves from the world and instead unite themselves with God. One day, having been enlightened by the Holy Spirit, David decided to follow in the footsteps of Saints Simeon and Daniel, and so he climbed up an almond tree that was outside of the monastery, and on one of the tree's branches he made a small bed. However, David would get little rest here, for it is one thing to sleep on a pillar that does not move, and it is another thing to sleep on a tree branch which is shaken by the winds, the rain, and by snow. And in this almond tree, David fulfilled the prophetic words of the psalmist who said, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, he shall be multiplied like the cedar in Lebanon. Those planted in the house of the Lord shall blossom forth in the courts of our God. For through his self-denial, by denying the body's desire for worldly pleasures, David began to bear many fruits. But his fruits were not like those of the palm tree or the almond tree, which become rotten after a period of time, but rather his fruits glorified God at all times and brought his soul great joy. David had many disciples who would come to his tree and ask him to come down. They would plead him, saying, Come down, and we will build you a hut wherever you desire, so that you can guide us to the kingdom of God. And David responded to them humbly, My brethren and my children, I am a sinful and unworthy man, but the pillar, Christ, the Good Shepherd, who lays down his life for his sheep, he, like one who is all good, may he protect you from all the attacks of the devil, and may he make you worthy of his eternal kingdom. And as my God is a living God, Jesus Christ, I will not come down from this tree until three years have passed, and only by his commanding, for without it being his will, I will not come down by any means. And his disciples, seeing that his desire was unwavering, decided to respect his wishes. And when three years had gone by, an angel of the Lord showed himself to David and said, David, the Lord has heard your prayer, and he's giving you the gift that you have been asking for all these years, meaning a humble and restrained mind, so that you may fear him and so that you may glorify him with your befitting piety. So come down from your tree and reside in a cell where you can bless God until you receive greater mercy from God. And then you will receive rest from your bodily labors and your soul will be comforted. And once the angel had made himself unseen, David said, Blessed is the word of God who received my prayers and had mercy upon me. And so David called to him his disciples and told them of his vision. And the disciples called the Archbishop Dorotheos, who quickly came together with his clerics. The Archbishop then climbed up into the tree of David, and he kissed his hand, and they brought him down from the tree and placed him in a cell that belonged to the monastery. And here David praised the Lord the rest of his life, glorifying him for his great love and mercy. And many faithful would come to David to receive his blessing, for they heard that he worked great miracles. One day, a young man who was possessed 
came to David and shouted from outside his cell, Free me, O David, servant of the eternal God, for fire radiates from your cell and it is burning me. And David stuck out his hand through the window and placed it over the head of the young man, and he said, Our God, Jesus Christ, the living Son of God, commands you, O unclean spirit, to come out of his body. And having said this, he made the sign of the cross, and the demon came out immediately from the young man who became healthy once again. Another time, there was a woman who was completely blind, and having heard of the good deeds of the pious David, she came to him being guided by another person. And going to his cell, she fell to the ground outside the door, weeping and humbly, saying, Blessed servant of God, help me according to the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver me from this excruciating ordeal, and give light unto my eyes. The woman, having said these things, and many others with tears in her eyes, moved David greatly, and he had pity on her pain and suffering. After praying to the Lord for a long time, he told her to get up from the ground where she lay weeping and to approach the window. And he stretched out his right hand and signed her eyes with the holy cross and prayed again to the Lord, saying, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who art incarnate of the everlasting Virgin Mary and of the Holy Spirit, bring this woman out of darkness and bring her into the eternal light which enlightened the blind man from birth. Even now, Lord, enlighten this handmaid of yours as an almighty one. For you are the enlightenment of our souls, and we always glorify you together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And having prayed in this manner, the eyes of the woman were immediately opened, and she began to praise and glorify God for his mercy. Saint David of Thessaloniki fell asleep in the Lord in the year 540 A.D., at the age of 90 years old. He is celebrated every year by the Orthodox Church on the 26th of June.